schedule we will run the final race of the uh, dirt series in which I actually have three consecutive championships this will be going final race at Eldora for that um, let's do this before we race any further uh, just let's look at some statistical information um, playoff grid for the trucks you can see that Brett Moffat it is advanced apparently I, th I guess the Canadian uh, already was part of that so I'm in on points, have not gotten in on a win yet, hoping to get in uh, here at Las Vegas. And if we switch the league for a minute, the playoff standings in the Dirt Series are as follows. We only have the one race remaining. So here's where we stand uh, with Las Vegas and Talladega yet to go in this round of eight. So we'll go to the race. We're going to go and get things started. The car is all ready to go. We're also in the middle of an incentive contract going for three top tens with a payout of 17920 and you can see we've got sufficient funds to buy our Xfinity team next year which is likely what we're going to do so we've got a speedway truck ready to go we're going to head to Las Vegas I have expectations for a pretty good result here. I think I won both Vegas races uh, last season, and I won the Vegas race earlier this year, so uh, got a pretty good chance of doing that and securing my spot in the next round in the Camping World Truck Series playoffs. We're going to go right to the qualifying. Hammered in. Three and four. Come around to take the flag to, for a qualifying run. Make this qualifying lap count, please. Slight. Whoa, a little tight there for me. Okay. Hold on. Probably a little bit too much throttle going in. going to be in the inside at least. We're going to start in seventh. Probably could have done a little bit better uh, if I hadn't uh, messed up the first turn. That's okay. So we're going to start the race doing the three stages. 25% here at Las Vegas World Truck Series. Currently in on points. I'd like to get a win to secure that. Just anything can happen at Teldega. All right, you're coming to the green. Be ready, ready, green button. And we got out on the outside because somebody went to the back as we didn't look real close at. Okay. So we got our grid in the upper left hand corner. You can tell in the green. No, oh, here we go. This is not good. Really not good. Are there's on your inside. He's inside. <sighs> Dangers of not being in the front. We're gonna go ahead and pit because we got all kinds of time. Fuel's not an issue. We'll do all those repairs and just get a fresh start. We'll start at the back. No worries. All right, you're coming to the green. Be ready. So just three laps to go now in stage one because of the accident in the first turn or first back stretch. Alright, careful now, still there. 
Clear oh, a little drifting high there. Come on, baby. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Alright, two more. Good lap, Might be a little tough to move up too much in Keep stage on the one right with the congestion, but we'll get back up there by the time this is over. Check up in three. Draw clear up top. One more to go. So one more lap and let's turn out to be a short stage one due to the pit stop or due to the accident. We got pretty banged up in the, from the sixth position starting spot, so we thought no, we better there. just come back here and fix this thing up. Twenty ninth. Bottom lane to clear. Use it if you need it. Nice drive in that stage. Okay. Driver. So not much happening there. We should get about seven, maybe eight laps in stage two, and maybe fifteen, sixteen in stage three. So. We'll just get right back into it. We're on the inside. Starter has the green flag in his hand. Be ready here. Outside, outside. Still there. Kind of bumpy in through here. Careful, still there. more to go in stage two. There. Let's see if we can't Inside. pick up a few Inside. more spots Inside. at least. Hold that line, driver. Didn't predict the bottom. Still there. Got one outside now. All right, careful now, but still there. Clear all around. Five to go. You got this. Stay on the bottom here for me. Make tight there, driver. Hold this line here. All right, careful now. Still there. Four more to go. Top lane three. Let's take the high lane and see if we can't pick up a few more on the back stretch here. Ciao, Mr. Joe Nemechek. Oh, now you're 
clear. Bottom lane's clear. Use it if you need it. Got one down low now. Got one down low. You did side. All right, now you're clear. White flag. Come on, dig, driver. Still there. All right, careful now. Still there. All right, clear outside. I'd like to get in that ninth. I'm not going to get a shot at it. So I'll finish it early. Top 10 that stage. That's worth a few points. So now we got a stage point. We're in 10th, but that's going to put us on the outside to finish this up. So we're going to have to be careful. Okay. Final stage of Las Vegas. All right, be ready. Round two, or race two of the round of eight. There's 17 laps. We got plenty of time. We just need to survive these early laps when things are kind of congested. Hold your line. You got one inside. Hold your line. Still there. Inside. Inside. Oh, watch the wall, buddy. Watch the wall. All right, careful now. Still there. Clear all around. Right there, driver. Hold this line here. Inside, inside, inside. Clear low, bud. Clear low. Come on, Brett. Clear all around. There's on your inside. Inside. All clear. I ain't going for a wide Moffat. Down under John Hunter Nemechek. Now Moffat right decides here. to come down right Still in there. front of me. Clear all around. Stay low, stay low. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Careful, still there. Try and take over fifth. Stay low, still there. Stuck a nose in, but he right, wasn't was trying there. to keep it from me. We're okay. All right, now you're clear. Still got time to run down that leader yet. Let's see if we can't take these two in the back stretch here, Crafton and Johnny Sauter.
your side. You're okay, clear. so now we're Long down way. to Todd Gillen and Grant Effinger. Ten laps to go. Enfinger, sorry. No pressure from behind. Got about two and a half seconds to make up on the leader. Should be able to take Gillen on this lap, this next lap. That was a great lap. I'm running in the legend level. Got a custom setup though, and the truck's running very well. It's all maxed out, 100% engine air on suspension. Now, Employees got it maxed out. Very fast at this track. Okay, we got eight laps. We're gonna make up 1.7 seconds now. A little bumpy through one and two. Disappointed at the pro NFL team I root for, the Detroit Lions lost by two to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, but fortunately, the Ohio State Buckeyes came from behind to knock off the Penn State and the Lions by one and remain undefeated. That was an exciting game. I've not watched any of the Roval today. Didn't watch any yesterday. Not really interested in that particular race. It's just, to me, it's ridiculous, but... Last I did hear that um, Brad Kozlowski was leading, but not looking forward to having to run it either. Slowly reeling in the leader, we're now less than a second behind, 0.9. No pressure from behind. Five to go. You've got this. Five more laps to do this. Good run off of two. Let's take him. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Clear all around. There we go. Two more. Last season in the truck series, ran a full-time ride, finished 13th for the season, did not make the playoffs. Truck was not up to max, but was able to do that early in the season. Uh, probably maybe midway, probably took to get the money to get that done. And uh, once we went, did that, been pretty pretty strong at 
at the Our ovals. Goal, one lap. White flag of not so much at the road courses because I'm not a very good road course racer, but the ovals were good. Okay, so yep, final lap, 36 of 36, no pressure, not going to take a chance in getting wrecked here with a, this guy, so we're going to advance Checkered flag is in the air and it belongs to the into the next shot. round. Not a burnout sort of guy. So, first place for us. Got a nice little uh, pot going here. Merchandise payouts decent. $767,000 and we have advanced. And we have the fastest lap. We're going to go ahead and finish up this event. And let's take a look and see what's next on the schedule. And there's another 17.9 going in. Fantastic win. You were fast and clean at the same time. Like your style. Is a crazy... Oh. I'm a crazy maniac behind the wheel. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think I ran into you, but... I don't think I did that either. Okay, so here it is, the finals of the Dirt Series, which is likely going to be my last race for Dirt for a while. I'm going to go back and change the settings now to a single stage for Dirt Race. We'll accept that change, go to the next race. And we're going for another top five for more payout, plus a 50. And let's go run Eldora. Car is ready to go. As I mentioned, I'm not planning to run the Dirt Series next year, so I'm not going to worry about uh, doing anything with the equipment. Uh, but just to show you, uh, you can see the upcoming race outdoor. Next season will be Charlotte Short Track, which I would go, and I've got a short track car in Bay 4 ready to go anyway. But it's time to focus on. Oh, I know what I want to do. Sorry. Uh, it's time to focus on trucks and Xfinity. Uh, we're going to switch the series garage to the truck, so let's take a look where we're at here. Okay, the next race we're going to run, when we go to the trucks, Talladega, it's going to be a super speedway, and you can see there in Bay 2, that one's ready to go. Martinsville Short Track is also ready to go. And then Texas a Speedway Track, i got one of those ready to go. And then I don't have another short track, short track chassis, but I'll work on that one in between. And I could go ahead and get a start in the Speedway uh, chassis. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll find an employee. There's Jordan Burroughs with 15 on the arrow. And then on the suspension, there's uh, Mr. Santos. And let's do that work plan. And that's going to throw that one up to 100. Okay. So we're staying ahead of things on the truck series. And prepare for race. Don't need to do that. We're gonna. Why is this doing this? I want to go race. I guess we'll go ahead and work on one of the cars. You know, don't really need to. Uh, short. I'll just do the short track here. Uh, put Quentin on it, and Raquel, and Andrew. 
There we go. It's just insisting I go ahead and work on a car regardless. Back out of here. And now we can go race. We'll take that normal. For any of you that might be watching, uh, I was confused about the mismatch penalties. I frankly don't know what they, why they do it because when you come back later, they're right back to where they were before. So uh, that short track car will be 85, 85, 85. And the uh, uh, other short track car will be 100, 100, 100. But again, I'm not really planning on uh, running the dirt series after this season. And if I do a season mode, you're not going to be, you know, developing your own cars. You're just going to set it up and run it. I think when I do season, though, I might do like a 50 percenter or something, you know, longer races. I think it'd be interesting. And try the, you know, at least the 105 or the auto hard or something like that. Okay. The Dale Jr. Whiskey River last call dirt finals. This is it. I'm going to go ahead to the qualifying. Hammer down. You can see our fastest lap is less than 15 seconds around Eldora. The thing about Eldora you want is the inside lane. All right, fast lap here. When you're qualifying, you really got to be careful about the cars in the inside that you won't have during the race. All right. Now, my hope is that none of those top six cars decide to go to the back. Because if they do, I could end up on the outside, and that is just does not work. All right. Thank goodness. Okay, we're on the inside. Starter has the green flag in his hand. All right, be ready. All right, driver. Dig. Go. Middle for the belly. Hard on the outside. Outside. So the numbers in green are Still there. challenging for this championship. Clear high. Clear high. No, 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 Michelle, you can't take that inside from me. Careful, still there. All right, clear outside. Up to the fifth position. Still there. So that green car, Henderson, right there, he's in the finals, and so is Todd Laguerre. So those first three cars are all in the finals. So if this doesn't change, we have to win the race to win the championship. Careful, still there. All right, now you're clear. While we're outside, bumping outside. around, the leader's getting away. Get off the wall, Mark. Get off the wall. Hold your line. Got one inside. Hold your line. Bottom lane's clear. You did it if you need it. Well, that leader's gotten away from me. That was a great lap. Okay, it looks like he might have caught up to the tail end. And that may help. Careful now, still there. Top lane straight here, use it if you need it. Top lane 
Main Street. All right, now you're clear. Excellent lap. Good job. Clear all around. Car outside. Car outside. All yep, clear. there he is. Putting a little bit of distance now between that car. Going for a fourth consecutive Extreme Dirt Series Championship. Trying to keep it on the bottom, not make any mistakes, don't let anybody get underneath me. Take her home. There we go. Fourth consecutive championship. No burnouts. There's our race win. A 
15.168. Not the fastest lap I've ever ran, but a good lap. So we're going to finish up the dirt finals and pretty much say goodbye to the dirt racing for a while. Let's see what... Uh, well, Talladega was, the, I believe, the last race. Gonna, uh, that's going to take a little bit. I think I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. There's our championship. I'll put uh, Talladega on the uh, next one. We got momentum. And we also got another 4480 going in. Austin Dillon. From That's 50 wins. Congratulations. 50 wins. Unbelievable. Thank you, Mr. Majeski. That's 50 wins. Very impressive. Ryan Blaney from the Cup Series. That's 50 wins. Congratulations. Denny Hamlin from the Cup Series. So lots of nice uh, comments from uh, various series drivers. A three race incentive of Talladega on Martinsville, which Talladega is a crapshoot. Texas, I could do good. Martinsville, so so. Um, let's roll the dice though and go for two top fives out of those tracks. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end this one and we'll get set up for the next one in a little bit. And the remainder of the videos for season eight, which I should be putting up, excuse me, season seven, getting ready for season eight, which I plan to do, run the trucks and a full time ride as an owner driver in the Xfinity series. So, thanks for watching. Have a good night.